In this video, we will be looking at how these 16 personalities act around their enemy. So, in natural human relationships, it is normal to have conflicts and disagreements. One party against the other, a clash of opinions and interests, hence breeding enemies. Since every human belongs to a particular type, we will be looking at how each personality type acts around their enemy. This video will also give an insight into how each personality type handles disagreement and conflict of ideas. So, if you are curious about how each personality type behaves and want to know more about them, then this video is for you. Stay through till the end and catch how distinct humans are from each other. The beauty of the world is in our diversity. If we are all cynical or egotistical, there would be many more problems than we already have in this world. But before we get into the gist of this video, don't forget to click on the like icon. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and do so now. Also, click on the little notification icon so that the next time we post a video, you are the first to know. Now let's get right into it. The first type on my list is the ISTJ. ISTJs are open-minded and often reasonable even when annoyed. To make an enemy out of an ISTJ is for them to find you cunning and not straightforward. As much as they do not like drama and unnecessary stress, they would also not hesitate to call anybody out when they feel threatened or they feel their loved one is in danger. With enemies, ISTJs will try to avoid confrontation as much as possible until they can no longer tolerate it. ISTJs will prefer to stay out of the way of their enemies than cause tension and drama. Next is the ISFJ. By nature, ISFJs are people pleasers and try to be in everyone's good book. As you know, that is not possible. They try to be perceived as good people by others and feel that other people have good intentions towards them. Whenever they manage to make enemies, they hold grudges for as long as it takes. The silent treatment is a strategy they use around enemies and emotional blackmail if it's a friend turned enemy. So with ISFJs, they subtly deal with their enemies without noise or drama. How do INFJs act around their enemies? Well, INFJs are amazing when they show their good side, but they could be deadly dangerous when dealing with their enemies. They are highly intuitive and can easily spot the weak points of their enemies. Their attack, if any, on their enemies is usually well planned out. They can either carry out a revenge plan or just shut out the person completely, even denying their existence. INFJs are careful around their enemies but also pay attention to details, so they know everything about their enemies. Next up is the INTJ. INTJs are very intelligent and in most cases try to mind their own business. So around their enemies, they might not seem to care. Being aloof is a strategy they use around enemies. They do not feel the need to interact if you are not friends. However, if they need to attack their enemies, they can be exceptionally strategic. Being logical and intelligent is a trait that can be fatal when put to destructive use like attacking enemies. ISTPs When we talk about people who are laid back, we are referring to ISTPs. ISTPs are cool and calm. They rarely get themselves entangled in other people's messes. For ISTPs, they would rather spend their days building useful networks than gathering enemies. If they make a few enemies, they try to avoid such people. ISTPs choose their peace over everything. Next on my list is the ISFP. Rather than confronting their enemies, ISFPs will turn away and ignore them. To ISFPs, silence is the best response to enemies. They do not like conflict or disagreement. Based on their nature, ISFPs like keeping to themselves, and they feel that a conflict with enemies will invade their personal space and alter the energy they endeavor to keep around themselves. INFPs. When INFPs make enemies, they become passive aggressive toward them. They try to cut off anyone they perceive as enemies. To INFPs, you are dishonest or bad to others, you are their direct enemy. INFPs might feel guilty after, but they are capable of causing drama when their enemies are around. They try to diss their enemies and tear down their image in the mind of others. In a way, they might attempt to show others the bad side of their enemies. How do INTPs act around their enemies? INTPs believe it is a pointless agenda to make enemies out of people. So when they find people they are not on friendly terms with, they try to knock sense into them and make them see things from their perspective. They do not do this out of fear because if the need arises, they are not scared to hold their ground and stand up for themselves. If it proves impossible to solve the problem between them, they cut off the person and avoid their existence. ESTPs 
Around their enemies, ESTPs are skeptical about the need for a fight. In the true sense, they do not derive joy from making an enemy out of another person, but it is sometimes inevitable. They tend to be patient around their enemies until they are convinced that it is not their fault another human chooses to be bad. In certain cases, they might get physical, but if they can help it, they stay away from the enemy. ESFPs ESFPs would rather opt for petty insults when they are around their enemies. They make their grievances known in not-so-pretty languages, and in the end, humiliate their enemies. They feel that throwing insults and vulgar words around their enemies would keep them away, and they would be at peace. ENFPs At all costs, ENFPs tend to remain on the good side of most people. They are very friendly and homely, so it is uncommon to find them around enemies. However, with the dynamics of human relationships, making enemies is inevitable. Around enemies, ENFPs will try to put on their best show and attempt to win back their enemies into their fold of friends. However, if their antics do not work, they can be aggressive toward their enemies. It is like flipping a coin. The energy they put into trying to win them back could be flipped into radical injury and they get brutal. ENTPs An argument is a likely cause for ENTPs to gain enemies because they are naturally debaters. They love to know the reason for following a procedure and do not like to be boxed. So their open-mindedness and flexibility can cause discord between them and those who are rigid followers of rules and dictates. ENTPs try to be pleasing to others but acknowledge that not everyone would find them appealing. So if they find themselves around enemies, they might attempt to have a dialogue and sort things out in that conversation. However, if that attempt is fruitless, they poke the person and deliberately want to rile their enemies up. To ENTPs, relationships that are not fixable could be used as a source of entertainment. ESTJs ESTJs do not find a problem with accumulating enemies. They are an outgoing set of people and can sometimes step on other people's toes or get other people annoyed. Around their enemies, ESTJs can get physical and engage in a fight. They are never subtle about their dislike for their enemies. and their way, they may try to physically intimidate their enemy or make them feel threatened. Around their enemies, ESTJs are terrors. ESFJs When ESFJs are around their enemies, gossiping becomes a coping mechanism. ESFJs are naturally outgoing and they are devoted to pleasing others and crafting a good image of themselves at the expense of anything. When ESFJs make enemies, they just immediately shut out such people from their lives. They would not want to be associated with their enemies or be on their radar. They are also experts at manipulation. So when they gossip and rant about their enemies, they consciously spread bad news about them. They attack their enemies in their way, but never directly. ENTJs ENTJs are resourceful, so when they are around their enemies, they use every available resource and clue to bring them down. ENTJs are not exactly subtle with their feelings, so when they are around their enemies, you can feel the disgust or anger radiating off of them. When they consider an enemy a threat to their progress or the comfort of their loved ones, they are not afraid to charge at such a person. Drama is not usually far away from scenes where ENTJs meet with people they consider enemies. Last on my list is the ENFJ. ENFJs are a bubbly and lively set of people who put in the effort to make others happy and loved. So it is usually a downturn of events for them to find someone who is against them or doesn't like them. They feel resentful and can be aggressive toward their enemies. Being loved by most people, they can easily change the perception of others concerning their enemies. They can make or mar the image of people so the image of their enemies is not safe with them. ENFJs are capable of leaking the dark and dirty secrets of their enemies. They are not exactly cautious, so they can be frightening to their enemies. And that is all concerning the diverse ways the 16 personalities act around their enemies. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section below. You can also share your personality type and how you act around your enemies. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. If you like the topic, we have similar videos for you showing on the screen right now. You can click on any of them to watch. That is all for now. Goodbye.